the beauty of the alpha brainwave state is that we can begin to open our hearts because we feel safe to do so. And when we open our hearts, which is really the ultimate goal here, we walk in attunement with spirit and we receive that endless supply of wisdom, intuition, insights, guidance. This is really what the process of heart opening provides us. We are able to be in presence all the time because we feel safe to do so. But we can't achieve that when we're in our heads all the time. When we're overthinking, we're often under feeling. And feeling is the language of this beautiful heart that we have. Hello there. You know those moments where you are finally relaxing and you're feeling the waves of calm and the peace and bliss that come with just being and presence and you feel all the cells in your body rejuvenating and regenerating and you you know that this is so good for you and you get a glimpse of remembering how much you have been seeking these moments in this moment and you smile with this feeling of relief that you finally have found yourself here but then but then you get gripped by a moment of panic and you remember all the things that you still have to do and so you jump out of this moment in presence instantly and you start ruminating about the future. And there's a feeling of guilt that you should be using this time that you are now using to just be in pursuit of the planning process for what you need to do tomorrow. And so instantly you are pulled out of that peace and the relaxation that was recreating your soul and regenerating your attunement to yourself and you block that whole flow again. <laughs> I'm laughing because this happens to me all the time. I'm still learning to relax. Maybe this is the same for you too. And it reminded me of the brainwave states. Now, if you're not familiar, when we're in a relaxating, relaxing state, we are in a alpha brainwave state. Relaxed, joyful, chilled out in the present moment. Our brainwaves slow down. It's the same brainwave state that we go into when we're listening to music that relaxes us or when we're patting our, our pets and just feeling their warmth and presence or when we're holding a baby and just experiencing the awe of new life or even when we're playing with children in the moment with them. This is generally a, an alpha brainwave state and the beauty of an alpha brainwave state is that feeling of relaxation. You step out of the concern or worry for the future you become very present in an alpha brainwave state however the moment or that moment when you catch yourself panicking and moving back into what you've got to do tomorrow we move into a beta brainwave state this is that kind of thinking analyzing planning strategizing ruminating worrying anxiety provoking thought process this moves us into a faster brainwave state and it made me realize that you know this elusive state of relaxation that we're all chasing is often sabotaged by the mind because the moment we we move into relaxation and feel the eternal beingness of presence our mind doesn't really have a role to play the same way the ego, if you like, the one that needs to exist and needs our attention 
and makes every kind of possible flag or indication that it needs us all the time, constantly flagging our attention. It doesn't have our attention when we're in an alpha brainwave state. And so it feels lonely and it panics and it grabs us and we go back into that faster beta brainwave state. Now, there's nothing wrong with a beta brainwave state. It's just that we can't relax generally when we're in it. And we need relaxation. It's a sacred part of this life. That's why we have all these beautiful parts of life, like dancing and singing and playing and uh, being silly and joking around and creating art and enjoying life, delighting in life, so that we move into this very regenerative alpha brainwave state so that we can become balanced and healthy and whole. So the moment that you catch yourself, and this is the thing, isn't it? We need to be able to be conscious enough to catch ourselves and notice when our mind wants us to pull us out of these beautiful relaxed states and go back into beta, back into the thinking and planning. There is a time and a place for everything, including thinking and planning. But I can guarantee you that in my life, I've overthought and overplanned to the point where I have lost so much time to be regenerating in alpha brainwave state. So I hope this has been helpful. Perhaps start to ask your awareness to help you to point out those moments when you're in relaxation where the mind wants to pull you back out. We need relaxation. It is so precious to this life. It is sacred. Have a beautiful day.